Guess who's back? Yes, it is me, your handsome mathematics teacher, Mr. Mac. Hey guys, we're going to look at lesson 4.2 today. So in your table of contents, please write, skip a line of course, don't forget to skip lines between those lessons, 4.2, area of triangles. And I'm guessing that many of you have already had some exposure to area of a triangle, so I'm not going to take a ton of your time explaining what we're going to do today. However, I will do exactly what I did last night. I'm going to talk for a minute here, and then I'm going to have notes on the whiteboard. I've learned something very interesting, by the way, if you want to get a little side story. When I turn and I write notes on the whiteboard as I talk, guess what happens? They come out backwards. It's like a reflected mirror. So that's why I have to turn the camera and use the back camera, if you were curious why I'm not writing notes while I speak. So area of a triangle anyway. Super easy guys. It's basically the same formula as we do for parallelograms except we take half of that area. And the reason why is if you could think in your mind's eye to put two triangles together it would create a parallelogram or a rectangle or square depending on the shape of the triangles. Um, so that is the formula. Basically it's area equal base times height divided by two. Some books will show it one-half base times height, which of course is the exact same thing. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday. I'm going to use the back camera, and then I will show you the notes on the whiteboard, and you, my friends, will get to write those notes down. How exciting. Peace out. See you in a little bit.